on a lead role in Jurassic Park to star in our next film, where she delivered arguably her finest performance ever. You want to see a, a, a film that gets you right in the guts, holds you there, twists your guts and never lets you go for a whole evening? Three Colors Blue. The pulse of the film is astonishing. And it's particular in the first opening with the car crash. It's positively surreal. It's the story of Julie, played by Juliette Binoche. She plays a grieving widow who's just lost her husband, one of the most magnificent music composer of his time, and their young daughter in a car crash. There's a moment you can't mourn because it's too shocking. My character, Julie, she's avoiding life. And there's no emotion involved, which is very interesting as, you know, to have a big shock like this, you would imagine big scenes of crying and tragedy. Blue stood for liberty. And you can always argue that love is the opposite of freedom and of liberty. So this is really how a young woman who's lost everything can actually rebuild her life and become free again, free from love and free from the dead. <laughs> Benoche's performance. This woman trying to rebuild her life, you know, and the horrendousness of it, and uh, it's just astonishing. The fist on the wall, they made a sort of protection for my hand to do it, and the protection didn't work. And I said, well, I can do it, you know, it's no problem. I'll do it, and, uh, and Christophe got soapy stuff. He said, no way you're gonna hurt yourself. We finally did it. It was like, oh, poor little hand, because it was like aching. I tell you, I had those smarts for about six months. Kislowski is a man of incredible taste, incredible skill, you know, who is a master and an artist, and you go, wow, wow. This is a truly great film.